Hey guys, we are done with the inside current affairs CA quiz of month July and August. So we'll begin with the June month CA current affairs MCQs. So the first topic is economy. First topic about uh, the first fact is about GDP. GDP is the total market value of all finished goods and services produced within a country in a set period of time. Basically, it is one year period. Or sometimes it is like calculated on monthly basis also, quarter basis. And the next fact is about the Phillips curve. It talks about the inflation and unemployment relationship. They have been, they have a stable and inverse relationship. What is Laffer curve? A Laffer curve talks about the relationship between tax rate and tax revenue. Now the next fact is about the anti-dumping duty. Custom duty or on import providing protection against dumping goods at uh, substantially lower price than normal value which is called anti-dumping duty. So this is a kind of custom duty on import is to provide protection to the domestic uh, players against dumping by an international uh, one trade or any other country for example China if it tries to sell a price at a substantially lower price than the normal value which is called anti-dumping and our country will, pro, will have a provision for certain duty, custom duty which is AD and dumping. And then what is this countervailing duty? Countervailing duty on goods receiving government subsidy in exporting country. The next one is about SDR. Neither currency nor a claim on the IMF. SDR is not neither a currency nor a claim also. It cannot fund infrastructure project this is special drawing right we cannot use it for funding infrastructure product and uh, it can be used for settling balance of payment next fact is about the monetary policy committee of RB. it sets every two months for example it sits on february april likewise this is to review the policy stance and the next fact is about the internationalization of rupees. It would mean paying rupee for uh, paying in rupees for export import, for issuing global bonds, etc. And rupee is uh, being accumulated by all central banks as reserves. Which is uh, it means our rupee has become internationalized. And the next fact is about the asset of bank which are called assets of bank it is the loan which bank give but also the reserves it holds what is the liability all the deposit we people we deposit in bank right which is liability because bank have to give back it to people and the next fact is about the hike in repo rate what will happen hike in repo rate it will lead to increase in lending rate which is related to repo rate and MCLR and also EMI of existing borrowers and the next fact is about the MPC monetary policy committee so it, it has been made explicit, explicitly mandated under the RBI act of 1934 what is the aim it is to bring price stability at the same time it also have to focus on growth also Inflation targeting is done by R RBI and it has statutory basis. And the next fact is also related to inflation targeting. So this is said by government of India plus RBI once in every five years. And the next fact is about the Directorate General of Trade Remedy, DGTR. So this is the Apex National Authority and the Ministry of Commerce for Administration. All trade remedial measures that is 
anti-dumping, then countervailing duty, etc. Duty imposed after investigating investigation by G DGTR, which is quasi judicial, which is a quasi judicial role. This Director General of Trade Remedy is under the Ministry of Commerce. We have to remember this. And the last fact for today is about the K-shaped recovery. What is this? Some sectors they will in the K-shape. We all know, right? Some sectors have fast recovery, whereas others are still struggling, which is K-shaped recovery. And in the GDP of India, private consumption contributes to 55% of total GDP. So that's all for today. Thank you.